I heard, I heard a little, I heard a little rumor. Heard a little rumor, man. Let me see if, do I have an update on that? No, not yet. So I hear that Nicki Minaj was on uh, this online radio app called Station Head. She was throwing a bunch of shots, man. You know, she she's the queen of, you know, let's just say subliminal. And she kind of, I, I told you how she moves. She talks to her fans in a very coded way and tell and basically programs them on who to attack, who they don't like at the moment, and who they're clowning. And the barb somehow, they, it's like a language. Barb language is like a whole thing to itself. They completely get it. And not only do they get it, they be like, all right, mission, we got the mission, let's go com complete it. So check this shit out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see if we can get to it. I'm gonna tell y'all, man, uh, hire me for your uh, Elliot Will okay. Drake. But right. trade for. Oh, um, There's a guy talking in the beginning of this. He's kind of giving I'll away some. Of Graham. Here we go. Some friends. Subscribe and share the video with your friends. Check out the clip and let me know down in the comments. You know, use fake uh, photos. They have to put photos of people like me on their page in hopes that they get some friends. Um. Or, or, you know, and then, and that's really not what they're, you know what I mean? So people use social media for a lot of things, but it normally boils back down to follow the money, right? Follow the money. Now, of course, today is in, in this day and age, a lot of people equate clout with money, but we're not talking about them. We're not talking about them. They gonna learn that, but we talking about someone. If someone were the age of, let's say, fifty three, right? Do you think they should be messy on the internet, or do you think? And if they have to be messy on the internet in order to get their coin, don't you feel bad that they didn't get enough coin? Before they turn that age. What do you say, Nikki? You know, but. Okay. Now, y'all might have not got that. Yo, listen, I want to know why everybody hate Elliot Wilson, man. <laughs> You, you, this has to be studied. So th th this was about Elliot Wilson. Elliot Wilson, ironically, is 53, okay? Um, recently, we've seen Charlamagne get at him. Drake got at him. And now Nicki Minaj, um, basically, in a, in a roundabout way, is getting at him. And I don't know, man. I'm, I'm wondering why everybody hates Elliot Wilson so bad. And, I, and I'm wondering if it's a few things. Is it because of his age or is it because of his actions? Um, you know, again, I, I think Ellie is kind of doing what a lot of other people are doing in media. So I don't know if it's his age. Now, she ain't talking about Joe. She's not talking about Joe. Somebody said she's talking about parables. Yeah, I, I really don't know. I really don't know why people hate Elliot Wilson. I think he's doing what the majority of um, uh, the majority of media personalities are doing. One thing I'll say is that it's clearly working. You know, one thing I say about artists is that artists hope to control the media or control the thoughts of the media. And when you get artists upset at you, as long as you're not operating in bad faith, you're probably doing something right or you're operating and giving your thoughts in a very non-biased or, um, let me not say non-biased, but you're, you're, you're down to go against the grain, right? Now, I think Elliot's a little bit different because Elliot, you know, and I think this is why he's been getting dragged by a lot of people. Elliot Wilson... Uh, Elliot Wilson, this is Nicki Minaj. Yeah, he did an interview with these people. I uh, okay, maybe that makes sense. 
Didn't didn't they do a crown together? Oh, they did. Okay, now it's making a little bit more sense. I I think what's going on with Elliot is that a lot of the artists, like for example, I've never gotten a Nicki interview. Of course, I would interview Nicki. Um, never got a Drake interview. Of course, I didn't interview Drake. Like Elliot's got those interviews, and I think people feel like he's regressed. Like, you know, he went from you, you know people like me. I had to come up talking about the artist because the niggas didn't want to talk to me, <laughs> right? Either I was irrelevant at the time or they were like, who is this nigga? You get what I'm saying? Or didn't like what I said. I made that a thing for me where I'm like, yo, listen, I actually now at this point, to be honest, in 2024, I'd rather talk about you than to you, all right? Because, I listen, I like when people don't clear shit up. I'll set the narrative. You feel what I'm saying? However, I think with Elliot, they looked at him like someone they respected. That the someone who was like a great journalist that would talk to them and they feel like he's like now I, I hate I hate to use the word regressed, but they feel like now he's in like the lane of like gossiping. I, I that's the only that's the only way I could uh, size it up. Because I can't tell why they all mad at him. <laughs> you get what I mean? But I think these people look at it like, yo, yo, I gave an interview. I did an interview with you back in the day. Like, yo, what's going on? Now, now I don't know what um, Elliot Wilson necessarily has said about Nicki Minaj recently or what he's posted about her. However, you know, um, it's interesting to see how he'll kind of take this and run with it. You know, shit. I think he's in his villain arc. I think Drake said something about him. He went crazy on Drake. And listen. Yo, Elliot reminds me of me when when Big Ack had to come out. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm academics. That's me. But Big Ack had to come out when everybody was playing with me. Like, and I'm like, damn, like, you know what? You know when everybody's trying to make you the butt of the joke? Like, oh, okay, we just play with this motherfucker, this nigga ain't shit. That's when I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna have to stand on business. And I think that's what that, that's the mode that I'm Elliot Wilson's actually on. Um I ordered liquor. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so, yeah, so I think he's in that mode. I'm wondering if, if he's going to address it. Anyway, let's go back to the parables that Nicki Minaj is speaking in, all right? No, no, that's, that's not it. See, oh, okay. And, and lastly, lastly, I think the only thing, and I'm going to give some constructive and, and Hopefully, Elliot doesn't take it wrong. I do think they talk down on Elliot a little bit. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all know none of these motherfuckers won't be for me no more. Like, like, nigga, I've never got more flowers. Nigga, I'm getting flowers, bouquets. I'm getting all type of shit. Like, the only night they try to give me these days is you might not like him, but, but they got to hit with a but. You know what I mean? He is kind of running shit. Like, before they used to be dissing me all the like, You notice I don't got no smoke no more. Like, I'm chilling. I think with Elliot, like, if Elliot had, like, built up, built up, like, an entity, right? Um, if, if he had turned rap radar because it was a popping blog into like this dominant, multifaceted, um, culturally relevant platform today, right? And if that was seen with years of, you know what I mean, just kind of building an audience because shit, they had a huge audience. I think these artists would talk to him different. That's what I realized. That's definitely what I realized, bro. Because let me tell you this, anytime an artist, and this is any media personality, anytime, yo, these artists think three times before dissing me now, I promise you, I swear. Nigga, I've been waiting for artists to diss me all week, all month. They don't, listen, as soon as I say something to somebody th these days, they'll hit me on the low, they'll hit, get somebody else to hit me. Nobody, I ain't gonna lie, like right now, Ain't nobody coming out and saying, fuck me. I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, there was a time I felt like they were trying, but these days, they all just kind of like, man, leave that nigga alone. The, now, the, there's only one thing that I think affects that, right? What affects that is if people think you matter, honestly. And, and it's only one exception when Drake went at Joe. Because I think he does, he does think Joe matters. 
But he motherfucking um he tired of Joe doing some personal shit. That's it. Anyway, for example, nigga, I said damn near almost half of the same shit as Joe. I didn't get this by Drake. You know what I mean? Like artists know be like, I'll give you another example. Polo G. Nigga, Polo G was telling Vlad, he about, yo, nigga, yo, let's link up right now. Yo, so me and Vlad talking, and Vlad's like, yo, this guy went crazy on me. And, and I'm talking to Vlad, and I'm like, yo, Vlad, he did hit me and ask me for my number two. He, and, and Vlad is like, yo, yo, I think he about to turn up on you. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Yo, me and Polo G had the nicest conversation in the world. So it's like he had mad energy for, for, for Vlad. For me, yo, act. Listen, man. This so the point I'm trying to say is that when you happen to be the media personality that everybody just be, be just kicking kicking in the ass, man, you just got to work a little bit harder, right? Because that means these motherfuckers think they don't need you. When they think they need you, they be like, they do all type of. Oh, I ain't hear what he said. They do all type of ducking the smoke because they know it's just not in their benefit to argue with you. You get what I'm saying? Ever since I put that nigga, uh, 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 um. I'm uh, um, little baby back in his pajama clothes. These rappers is like, shit, you did that to Meek and that nigga? I'm good. Good point. Good point. But yeah, anyway, um, yo, Elliot, I think they're trying you out here, gang. They're trying you out here, bro. They're trying you because they really, I'm telling you the truth, I ain't trying to instigate. They think you old and washed up. I don't think you old and washed up. I see you in the game. I, I, I be listening to your shit. But these motherfucking, these artists, they're thinking that, they could just say whatever about you and use your age and people going to be like, damn, this nigga finished out here, man. You got to just fight back, my brother. Or you actually don't got to fight. If that's not your style, don't don't wild out an artist. But I'm telling you why it feels, in my opinion, why it feels like they're going at you. Anyway. All right. Oh, she wasn't done. You know, but see... Isn't it funny, guys? How? Oh, what What was yesterday? One of our keys was numbers don't. Men lie, women lie. Somebody said, how do I check, little baby, though? Nigga, didn't I play the damn interview where that boy said he should have never rapped about me? That's how I like niggas to say. Yeah, I should have never did that nigga in the first place. That's what I like niggas to say. You hear what I'm saying? Y'all ain't see it? I'll run it back. That nigga did a whole interview and said, man, I shouldn't even rap about that nigga, man. That's how I like rappers to talk. Numbers don't, okay? So make sure anywhere you see my name on anything, any station, any blog, any this, any that. What's she talking about now? Make sure they're also stating the numbers of everyone. Mm. Okay, because remember how big they were on numbers, right? Who is she talking about here? She be talking in parables. I I I think she she either talking about Ice Spice or so her and Ice Spice like squabbling right now. Like th this is like a very undercover beef. They're not like beefing like that, but but I think she wants to show Ice Spice that because there's two schools of thought. Some people believe that Nikki needed to hop on the Ice Spice train to, you know, kind of help prop herself up. And after we've seen Nikki sell 200 and something records, 200 and something thousand, she's on arena tours. And Ice Spice done sold 18K. And basically, and she's doing 2,000 venues. We're realizing, damn, we kind of did sound pretty stupid if we thought that Nikki needed Ice Spice. So I don't know if necessarily that's what she's talking about, but again, she speaks in parables. Okay. Is that she's talking about two men? So if a person is still chasing the the uh, the little somebody says saucy at me shook. But me shook it up, but still. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Saucy got that, bro. Yeah, let, let. <laughs> I get a win to that nigga. Little pennies here and the little pennies there. Should we put together a go 
fund me for them so they could can retire. Um, you know, I'm just trying to think of something sweet. Because they, you know what I'm saying, Keys. Um, okay, chit chat with Haley said absolutely not. Tamara, twenty six. You know what I'm saying? What if we put together a seafood broil? What? And a GoFundMe. For anyone who sits around obsessing over Onika and the Barbs every day, shouldn't they be on a boat? All right, man. I don't know what's going on with, with Nikki, man. Anyway. All right, all right, all right. Bet. Uh, what else is popping in the news?